a spurned hotel supervisor who murdered a primary school teacher after a drug-fueled sadomasochistic porn binge has been jailed for life. Setting a minimum term of 20 years behind bars for Lucy and Stinchy, Judge Richard Marks QC, said he had, no doubt, the murder was, fired up by drugs and porn. Stinchy, 34, was, infatuated with his housemate Florina Pastina, 36, who he bludgeoned to death with a claw hammer and may have scalded with boiling water. He then attacked her 25-year-old nephew Nicholas Helen and his twin sister Claudia Pastina on July 19 last year, who he also lived with. Florina Pastina who died after she was attacked with a hammer, image, PA, last week Stinchy admitted murder, for assault occasioning ABH, unlawful wounding and possessing cocaine. At the Old Bailey he was jailed for life with a minimum of 20 years, and bowed his head as the sentence was passed. Judge Richard Marks QC, the Common Sergeant of London, said, Undoubtedly, in my view, fired up by the drugs you had consumed and, I have no doubt, by the videos you had been watching, at around 7am that morning you launched a vicious attack upon Florina. You went up to your bedroom from the lounge downstairs where you collected a hammer, which you kept with other tools in your bedroom. You came back downstairs with the hammer where you knew Florina was in the kitchen. You attacked her from behind. Having done so and felled her to the ground, you continued the attack by repeatedly hitting her over the head with that hammer, he added, the nature of your attack was sustained and was utterly brutal. You chose to get yourself into a frame of mind whereby you were fired up by drugs, and, in addition, by the disgusting material that you had chosen to watch over a period of several hours at night. The 36-year-old was attacked after her housemate went on a drug binge, image, Facebook, having done so and felled her to the ground, you continued the attack by repeatedly hitting her over the head with that hammer. He added, the nature of your attack was sustained and was utterly brutal. You chose to get yourself into a frame of mind whereby you were fired up by drugs. And, in addition, by the disgusting material that you had chosen to watch over a period of several hours that night, referring to Florina, a school teacher in Thornton Heath, the judge said, It is clear she was an outstanding person who was greatly loved. For years since she had bombarded Florina with Valentine's and birthday cards, calling her the most beautiful creature from the universe. Stinchy tried asking her out, but she rejected his advances. He had installed a spy camera in the shower of the home they shared in Croydon, South London so he could film her in 2013. Police later found the videos and screenshots on a hard drive. Stinchy, a supervisor for Mayday Hotels in Croydon, was a heavy drinker fascinated by sadomasochism. He had neck take cans of cider the night before the murder, before taking nearly 6 grams of cocaine, as well as Sildan Affle, used in Viagra. Emergency services were called to the house following the early morning attack last year, image, Facebook, Stinchy hid the hammer in the garden and before getting changed and going to work, image, Facebook, from midnight Stinchy spent six hours watching videos showing women being tortured, raped, restrained and killed. An hour later, at about 7am, Stinchy attacked Florina in the kitchen, repeatedly striking her round the head with a hammer. Minutes before, he had texted his boss saying, Hello, don't come to pick me up, I have things to do in the morning. I am coming after, Mr. Helen was woken by the commotion, and Stinchy hit him on the head before pushing the hammer into Claudia's stomach as she tried to intervene. The siblings, who like Florina were also from Romania, eventually grabbed the hammer and threw it outside and ran out screaming. Stinchy, who came to the UK from Romania a decade ago, picked up the hammer and hid it in the back garden, before walking outside dressed for work. Emergency services arrived and found Florina on her back in the blood-splattered kitchen fully clothed with a catastrophic head injury. Florina's niece and nephew were also hurt during the attack. Image, Facebook, she was taken to hospital and died two days later, having suffered 18 lacerations to the head and multiple skull fractures, and blistering to her thighs and groin area. Mr. Helen was left needing stitches for a cut on the head and his twin sister suffered bruises to the arm and thigh. Officers found cards from Stinchy in her room, with one saying, Your eyes, your mess mind, and nonetheless your smile, have magical powers. A hearing took place to determine if he deliberately scalded her, as the prosecution argued, which he denied. But the judge concluded, although it was highly likely that this was deliberate, by a narrow margin, it was not something he could be sure of to the required criminal standard. Judge Marks found it was not a case involving sexual or sadistic conduct. 
Stinchy said he was disorientated and agitated, and saw Florina and felt a rage, like she had done something to me, like all the times we had arguments in the past. He told the court, it was more like it happened very abruptly. I just passed her, and she asked me if I am all right, what's wrong with me? I just snapped. He went to the kitchen, where Florina was making coffee with her back turned to him, and struck her on the head causing her to fall backwards. After